Public Schools, Secondary ESOL Newcomer. Welcome, my name is Miss Hanson. I work in the office of ESOL. Let's start working on learning more English. This is lesson number 10. Here's our outcome for today. Read it to yourself or to somebody near you. So what are we going to do today? That's right, we are going to write a proposal. Now why are we going to write a proposal? In order to convince others to use less water. So let's look back to lesson number nine. In lesson nine, we learned that each sentence has a subject and a predicate. If we look at the sentence below, we can see that water treatment is the subject and is the process of cleaning water is the predicate that tells us what the subject is doing. We also looked at how we can use different types of sentences to make our writing more interesting. So there are four types of sentences that we looked at. Declarative, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory. So let's look at some examples of each of these. We learned about the steps needed to produce clean water. This is an example of a declarative sentence. Why do people in the USA use so much water? This is interrogative. You must convince people to use less water each day. This is imperative. I am lucky that the water flowing through my faucet is fresh and clean. Exclamatory. When we convince someone, we try to persuade them. So this means we want them to agree with our idea. Before we try to persuade them, let's consider some information that we've learned in these lessons so far. So let's brainstorm. Think about it for a moment. What have we learned about water? Write down any ideas that you have. Let's see what I've come up with and see if what I've come up with is similar to something that you have come up with. So we know that water is vital for all living things, humans, animals, and plants. Without water, humans, animals, and plants would die. So it's vital. It is very, very important. We also know that citizen scientists can protect our water as they provide information on how healthy our waterways are. So in one of our lessons, we looked at what citizen scientists can do, how they can take samples of water and they can analyze it, make sure that it is clean. We also know that humans waste a lot of water and some of the things they waste water on are sewage, construction, cleaning and manufacturing. Another thing we learned is that air pollution leads to climate change, which can result in water pollution. And this means that there is less clean water available in certain areas. In some areas, we might have uh, too much rain, which pollutes the water, the water sources. In other areas, we might have too little rain and we have drought. Without enough rainfall, there is drought, as I just said, and drought can cause famine and starvation, which means that people do not have enough food to eat because the plants, as we said here, the plants need water, it's vital for them. If we don't have enough water, we don't have enough plants, the farmer's crops die, we don't have enough food, which can lead to people dying from starvation. During a drought, the government will limit the amount of water that we use. So they will say that we cannot use extra water, such as uh, watering 
the lawn in our backyard or washing our car, they would say that's unnecessary because we need to save water. We also learned that the average person in the USA uses 156 gallons of water per day. But the average person in Mali uses only three gallons of water per day. And the reason for this is because there is a lack of access to clean water in many countries across the world, such as Mali. So before we write our proposal, let's consider some vocabulary. Some of these words are words that we've come across before, and some of them might be new to you. So I'm going to read the word. As I read, repeat after me and look at the image to help you understand. Conserve, conserve, construction, construction, cotton, cotton, fair, fair, healthy, healthy, leaky, leaky, pollution, pollution, protect, protect, waste, waste, waterways, waterways. Now let's have a look at these words again and the image. So here we have an image showing that someone is conserving or saving water. Here we have someone working in construction, so building. Here we have cotton. Cotton is used to make many of the clothes that we wear. Fair. So if we have a look at this image, we have a tall person, a medium height person, and then a short, small person. Look at the difference between them. So this one does not need to stand on anything. This one needs one block and this one needs two blocks. Once they have this in place, everything is fair because each of these three people are able to see the baseball game. So they're equal, it's equality. Healthy. You're healthy if you exercise regularly, you eat well, you get enough sleep and you drink enough clean water. It is a positive thing to be healthy. Leaky. So if we look at this pipe here, someone has tried to fix the leak, but it doesn't look like it's worked very well. And there is water coming out of the pipe. Pollution. So here we have a chimney from a manufacturing plant that is causing a lot of pollution in the atmosphere. This is all dirty um, pollution, dirtying the air. Here we have protect. So this person is protecting the small young plant. Here we have waste. So someone has a hose and they're just spraying water around without really thinking about what it needs to be used for. And then lastly, we have waterways. So we looked at lots of different examples of waterways, streams, rivers, lakes. They're all examples of waterways. So look at those um, vocabulary words. We've got 10 here. And see if you can find two that look very similar to one another. If you look at the pictures, it might help you. Good job. Protect and conserve. Look at the images here, how similar they look. These words are very similar, conserve and protect, we call them synonyms. The opposite of a synonym is an antonym, when words mean the opposite of one another. Can you see two words on this vocabulary page that mean the opposite of one another? Good job! Waste, so here we have the person wasting water, 
and here we have conserve. These are antonyms. So conserve and protect, what do we call them if they mean pretty much the same thing? Synonyms. Good job. Say that word again. Synonyms. And then we have conserve and waste. What are these examples of? Antonyms. So conserve and waste are antonyms of one another. Good job. Okay, let's have a look at the proposal. So in this proposal, we have the four different types of sentences that we looked at in the prior class and we referred to again. So we've got declarative, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory. But we also have a word bank with the vocabulary words that we just looked at. And we need to decide where these vocabulary words should go. So I'm going to read the first two paragraphs and then you're going to see which words you think should go into the blank spaces. You understand that water is vital for all living things, but have you considered how you can blank it? Citizen scientists protect our water as they provide information on how blank our blank are, but everyone else can protect it too. It's time to get serious and blank water. As the human population increases, more water is wasted. Humans blank a lot of water on sewage, blank, cleaning and manufacturing. In addition, air pollution leads to climate change which can result in water blank and less clean water available in certain areas. Okay, so have a look at the word bank. Which words do you think would fit into the empty blank spaces? I'm going to read it again and we're going to see if we agree with what you come up with. So you understand that water is vital for all living things, but have you considered how you can protect it? Good job. Citizen scientists protect our water as they provide information on how healthy our waterways are, but everyone else can protect it too. It's time to get serious and conserve water. As the human population increases, more water is wasted. Humans waste a lot of water on sewage, construction, cleaning and manufacturing. In addition, air pollution leads to climate change, which can result in water pollution and less clean water available in certain areas. Good job. Let's have a look at the next two paragraphs. Did you know that the average person in the USA uses 153 more gallons of water per day than the average person in Mali? Does that seem blank? What are you going to do about it? It's time to act now. Turn off the faucet when you brush your teeth. Take a quicker shower. Don't consume more products than you need. 1,800 gallons of water was used to grow the blank to make your jeans. Repair blank faucets and pipes. Don't wash your car as frequently. Save water and save the planet. Okay, so we have three blank empty spaces here. Let's see which words would fit each space. So did you know that the average person in the USA uses 153 more gallons of water per day than the average person in Mali? Does that seem fair? What are you going to do about it? It's time to act now. Turn off the faucet when you brush your teeth. Take a quicker shower. Don't consume more products than you need. 1,800 gallons of water was used to grow the 
cotton to make your jeans. Repair leaky faucets and pipes. Don't wash your car as frequently. Save water and save the planet. Good job. Okay, so let's think about the reasons to conserve. What are the reasons that we should conserve water for? We're wasting too much water, correct? And not everyone around the world has access to the same amount of clean water. It is not fair. So how can we conserve? Turn off the faucet. Take a quicker shower. Consume less products. Repair leaky faucets and pipes. Don't wash your car as frequently. These are all imperative sentences demanding that we do these things to conserve water. So let's refer to our outcome again. So we said students will be able to write a proposal. You did that. Great job. And we needed to write a proposal to convince or persuade others to use less water. Excellent. So now you know what you can say to people when you demand that they use less water so we conserve and protect the water we have in the world. Great job, everybody. See you next time.